I think it's about educating ourselves that STEM is not a male career. Um, that's the first step. And we laugh about that, but it, you know, not too long ago, it really was seen that men are going to be scientists, and it was really geared towards them. We have, um, we have, <laughs> Uh, my supervisor has this game about chemistry, and I think it was from the 1950s or 60s, and it says chemistry science for boys on the top of it, <laughs> right under the title of the game, which I won't say, but um, it's that shift in perception that this is also for women. And I think there's this re-identification with what is STEM. It's not just engineers, it's not just chem chemists, it's people who develop perfume. So that's something that women like in general, obviously, and it's a STEM, it's a STEM area, it's chemists that do that. And so I think when they develop these toys or um, other things that engage children in STEM, they need to consider both sides, both, you know, what would girls be interested in? And I know there's that dollhouse um, that three graduates had developed that has um, electric wiring that you put in it. And so stuff like that, um, I think girls would get interested in it.